I am Toni Hunt, also known as Her Huntress. I am glad you decided to join me today. I'm going to be going through my crystal jewelry collection. These are going to be items that I wear to help me heal or these crystals do something for me. I'm not going to go through so much my gem quality pieces. Those are kind of just for show. These are things that help me throughout my day or I wear them for something particular. Uh, so let's get right into it. The first category I want to show you today are my opals. Let's try to get these. These are a little hard to see. But uh, this one right here, these are Brazilian opal chips in a little vial of water. This one is, oop, we're trying to flip around there. This one is a snowflake and the middle opal moves. I do snow removal and salting. I'm in Kansas City, so we do get some snow. I do that part-time in the winter and I bought this with some of my snow money. But that's another opal I wear. Now, let me see if I can. I wear opals for beauty and self-esteem. I tend to wear these when I'm going to be in group, big groups of people, it seems. I'm not sure why I do that, but I do gravitate to wear these when I'm going to be around a whole bunch of people. Opals are really good for fighting off infections. So if you're dealing with any kind of infection, wear opals close to you. It'll help boost your immune system to fight those kind of things off. But my opals are what I wear if I'm going to be near a whole bunch of people. The next thing I want to show you, put it on, uh, this is a hematite ring I got when I was in, in my teens. I've had it for well over 20 years. This helps me with my anemia. Uh, this is a piece you'll see me wear regularly. It's something that I seldom take off. I'm not wearing a lot in today's video because I wanted to show you all I have. Another slightly large collection are my moonstones. This is a tree of life with moonstones. Here are two moonstone bracelets. This is just like a, a rainbow and this is, I don't know if they call them black, but it's like a grayish moonstone. lots of things here. I have two moonstone earring pieces. These are a little dirty. They're in silver. I have moonstone in this. This also has, this has an opal aquamarine moonstone. This one was made for me. There's a moonstone in this one. I wear this a lot. And then these, this is actually my wedding ring and a complimentary one next to it. Maybe I can pick up the rainbow shift on camera. Maybe I can't. Moonstones give off a gentle feminine quality about them. Uh, they're good for regulating your cycle. They give me a calm and peace of mind. I seem to get lots of inspiration when I wear these, so I do have lots of pieces. I like to wear Moonstone. It just it calms me and makes me feel good. So I have met, I have more jewelry pieces with Moonstone than I do collection pieces in my big collection in my in my bedroom. The next thing I have it, it's just a, a, a clear quartz point. When in doubt, wear clear quartz. I just wear this if I don't have anything else that goes with my outfit that day. I do coordinate some of these with outfits. Some, sometimes I wear them to do something to help me. But uh, if you don't really know what crystal to wear that day, wear clear quartz. It just brings in more energy, amps you up, 
never goes wrong. Next we have rose quartz. Here's a bracelet. Rose quartz is good to fight off jealousy. If you happen to be a jealous person, you might want to wear this. It's the crystal and stone for love. It has to do with our heart chakra. Now, for whatever reason, I don't seem to identify with this stone very much. I'm not sure why. I know rose quartz is a very popular piece in most people's collections. Just not for mine. I'm not sure what the story is. I just don't. It doesn't do too much for me. And you're going to find that. Some crystals just don't mesh well with your vibrations. So uh, this happens to be one that doesn't do a whole lot for me. I only have a few things, mainly for fashion reason. But... Uh, if you have problems with your heart, this is a good one to keep near you. Next on the list is amethyst. Amethyst is good for a lot. This is another one kind of like clear quartz. If you don't know what to wear, wear amethyst. It does so much. But what I use it for is it relieves stress for me, gives me stability, and calms me. People put this by their bed for good night's sleep. Really big stress reliever, Amethyst is. You can't go wrong. So there's three pieces for Amethyst. The next things I want to show you is Adventuring. This is a bracelet. Now, there's different colors of advent Adventuring here. And just it looks like some... Uh, random agate, maybe some moss agate in there. So this has kind of a mixture, but the main beads here are adventuring. And I have another little pendant here. I can, I'm having problems with what side of the screen to put these on, aren't I? Adventuring is a stone for being lucky. It is also a good stone for opportunities. I wear this little pendant when I hunt, and plus this one's got all kinds of little different guys in here. It's got um, tiger eye, obsidian, malachite, turquoise, doubt it's real, some clear quartz, maybe some carnelian in there. This is a good one to wear. I wear this hunting a lot, but it's a stone of opportunity. So if you're doing anything or maybe you're in a competition, uh, I do a lot of shooting a lot of competition shooting. I would wear this bracelet when I'm out doing that. Next up is sodalite. We all have this, don't we? Here's a beaded bracelet. I wear this quite a lot. It's blue. I have a lot of items that are blue in my wardrobe. But this gives me confidence if I have to go out and see clients or speak in front of big groups of people, you will see this on me. This is a big confidence booster in my book. Uh, it also helps with weight loss. So if I happen to be on one of my diets, you'll see me adorn this bracelet and you'll know what that means. I ate too many snacks last week. Next up, lapis lazuli. This is a little darker and you can tell them apart because lapis has gold running through it. And sometimes it tends to be a little darker. Soda light has more of the uh, whitish in it. But if you can see gold, and I know they streak different. Uh, I'm not too big on testing my stones and rocks, but I know they both have different streaks. But uh, if you see gold, it's a lapis lazuli. This is another one that goes hand in hand with the soda light. It's good for communication. Uh, this is one that's a third eye chakra. I meditate with this a lot. It gives me some insight. Good meditation stone. But I do wear it with my soda light if I'm going to be speaking in front of people or have something to do with communication. If I need to get a point across to somebody, if I need to be stronger getting that point across, this is what I'll wear that day. 
Next is fluorite. This is just a little polished fluorite point. This is more of an aqua green color. Ra this, these are rainbow fluorites, anywhere from green, blue, purple. This is a lighter green fluorite, just a polished stone. And I have a bracelet here that has purples, greens, blues. Fluorite heightens mental abilities. This is one that I will wear if I want to heighten my metal, mental abilities or do some intuition work. It's a good meditation stone also, has to do with your crown chakra. Third eye too, or crown. It is a protected stone also, which is good to work with if you're gonna meditate, because if you're gonna open up to certain abilities, you also wanna be protected at the same time that you do that. You don't wanna le let in any creepy crawly negative energy. Creepy crawlies. Peridot. I only have one to show you because most of mine are gem quality and I wear it in a set, um, nicer rings and jewelry. But this is the one I wear. It calms anger and jealousy, which I don't have too many issues with, but it wards off evil. It gives me joy and you don't hear that from people a lot, but some stones do other things than what the norm is that you'll read in books. So Peridot gives me joy a lot like citrine. This works like citrine for me. But this is the one I have. I like green. Green is one of my favorite colors to wear. Green and yellow. Um, I think it's pretty. So I think that's probably why I have some of the higher quality pieces for this. Next I have citrine, and this is another stone that gives me joy. This is going to blend in with my background a little bit. I also have, actually this isn't a citrine, this is a peach topaz or something like that. But um, I do not know if this is natural or heat treated. It's probably heat treated because it wasn't that expensive. Citrine gives you happiness and strength and joy. It's kind of darker along the edges, so it is probably heat treated. You're going to get that a lot. It's hard to find natural citrine, and it's expensive when you do find it. So if you find citrine that's cheap, chances are it's an amethyst that's been heated. It's okay. It, it, it'll give you some other properties. I mean, it's okay to have citrine that's been heated. Some people get all worked up about it, you know, but it's, it is still a natural stone that's just been heated. It's okay. If you like it, keep it in your collection. Tiger Eye. I have a few Tiger Eye bracelets, and you've heard me say this before. I like to wear Tiger Eye when I'm hunting also. So here's like a bangle bracelet. I don't wear this when hunting, of course. It's a little big and bulky. I'll wear with this with a nice outfit, but um, here are the ones that I will wear when I'm out hunting. Tiger Eye gives me strength and courage. So that's why I wear it when I'm hunting. It's good for determination, another quality when you're hunting. Uh, if I'm having a kidney infection or kidney problems, which I have had from time to time, if you've known me, I've had way over 20 kidney stones in my, in my day. I will wear Tiger Eye if I'm fighting a kidney infection. Garnet, garnet is one that you want to wear to heighten passion. You can wear it hand in hand with your rose quartz. These work well together. I don't have many garnets. It's another one that just doesn't speak to me. I don't know if that says something about me, but uh, this, this isn't a stone I wear often. It's supposed to give off a lot of energy also, but if I want to wear something to give off a lot of energy, I wear carnelian. That's what boosts my energy. And I have a little tree of life here, if I can untangle it for you, made of carnelian. And I mentioned carnelian in my crystal grid video about addictions that I had this in my grid because it gives off energy. Since I wasn't having as much caffeine lately, this will boost me up so I don't have to have a five-hour energy throughout my day. This helps just like that. 
Now, the only thing left that I have, to show you at least, is just uh, like rainbowed ones. This has a whole bunch of different kinds in it. I can see sodalite soda offhand, just some mixture of agates, adventurine, some tiger eye. Oh, here's some snowflake obsidian. This is uh, uh, just an all over good one. No matter what you're dealing with, this is good to slip on your wrist. There's something in here for you. And then here is a heart shaped tree of life. Another piece that's good to wear no matter what problems you're having that day and goes with just about everything. But this will clear all your chakras. Uh, we have, it looks like garnets, carnelians, citrine, peridot. Uh, actually, that looks like an aquamarine there. And some amethyst. Just a pretty little piece. So that'll about wrap it up. Those are the items I wear if I need to fix something that I'm going through. Like I said, these aren't my jewelry pieces I'd wear for show. These are things that are going to do something for me. If you see these on, I'm dealing with something. I want to fix it or be better at something. So I hope you enjoyed this collection and I hope you have a positive, fun-filled rest of your day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!